Hey, welcome back, dear friends. Today, I'd like to continue our series of one half. The virtual machine would be a backdoored one. I will put the link into the description section below, so that you can download this virtual machine. And、uh, before we begin to begin today's video, if you don't mind, please consider to subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's just get started. Of course, the first step would be to import this virtual machine into the VMware or VirtualBox. But I can tell you, I think it will be you you will have less trouble importing、uh, this virtual machine into the VMware rather than the VirtualBox. So now we can go into the kernel Linux. As you can see over here. I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine as 150 line, and then I did the Nmap scanning. I did the sync scan, the version scan, the default script scan. I also I I did the comprehensive scan by specifying the option of dash p dash. From the Nmap scanning results, as you can see over here. There is just only one open port, which is one three three seven, and、uh, this open port runs HTTP service, and also the actual version information is displayed over here. Of course, what we are going to do next is to do some emulation for this HTTP service. So now let's fire up our browser. And let's put the IP address of the virtual machine into the browser. Maybe I need to. Oh, sorry, I forgot to specify the port number, which is not、uh, standard port. Okay, so we have already got、uh, retrieved the patch. And、uh, this just、uh, gives you the the virtual machine information itself, like the virtual machine name, the difficulty, and the flags. And、uh, the author tells us you cannot spawn a loot shell, but、uh, reading the loot flag is enough. I think we need to take into our minds. When we do this virtual machine, and then we can check the source code. Nothing here, and also we can check whether this site has robots file. Yeah, it says the base sixty four string that contains SSH user and password. At this point, this cannot give us any、um, useful information about how we. Can exploit this information, okay? And then we need to do, of course, we need to do some directory emulation. For example, we use the GoBuster and specify the IP address of the virtual machine. And don't forget to add the port number and specify the word list. And this time, of course, you can try. A different word list, but uh, uh, for me, uh, this word list can work. And、uh, maybe if you cannot work for one specific word list, you need to try several ones. Okay, six lists and discovery, and web web content and、uh, raft large directory, and specify the. Extension option and、uh, like this. Okay, I think it it's enough to go. So we need this to be completed. Yeah, we got the. The directory 
which is web admin, and we can access this directory web admin. And uh, I, I think, as you can see, this is the web shell. So also we can check the netcat. Yeah, netcat is installed. And uh, we need to spawn the normal shell rather than web shell, right? And before we do that, we need to set up the listener. And then we need to execute a command. Sorry, I need to check the IP address of the Kali Linux, which is 143. Okay, come back to the web shell and specify the port number. If you follow up on my videos in this series, I always use my favorite port number, which is 555. Let's hit enter and let's go back to our terminal. Yeah, we have already got the reversed shell originated from the virtual machine. And we can check the Python version. Yeah, Python version 2 is there. And we can make this interactive, spawn the bash, and go to the home directory. We and we have already uh, been the user uh, Bob, and uh, of course the, from the membership of this user, uh, this user doesn't have any. Uh, loot privilege or privilege privilege it uh, right or permission and uh, also we can check the sudo no command not found and also we can check of course we need to do some basic local immigration go to the bob directory and uh, we can cut the user flag here okay no problem and then we can try to find the command which has SUID bit, right? Which is the very UU uh, technique when we do the local privilege escalation. And uh, specify type and redirect all error. But nothing interesting command uh, is displayed over here. And what can we do next is to upload the Nimpier's shell script to the this virtual machine to see whether we can find out some vulnerabilities or some misconfiguration or has some files which includes the credentials information. And we can go to the temp directory and we can try to uh, open up a new tab and we can co copy from my two sets directory nimpiers to my current working directory and we can set up the the web server by running python and then we can go back to our virtual machine shell we can use the wget utility to download the Nimpiers shell script and we need to make this shell script executable and run this shell script. Of course, uh, this Nimpiers shell script is very powerful when we do the local privilege escalation. And it will go through all possible points where we can uh, utilize them, utilize them to elevate our privilege. Okay, so we we'll wait for this to be completed. Okay, it's done, and then we can scroll up. Yeah. 
You're nothing useful. Yeah, here loot files with capabilities. I think we can use this command tech to read the loot flag. But before we do that, we need to know whether there is any other vulnerabilities in this virtual machine. We need to scroll up to the top of the result. Okay, nothing. I think nothing more、uh, for us from the perspective of the privilege escalation. Okay, I think now it's clear. We have already know the the pass, the absolute pass of the loot flag. As you can see,、uh, we can make a. Confirmation again. Yeah, the loot flag is here, and then we can use the tag command to read. Because this tag command has capabilities. Yeah, we have already got、uh, or retrieved the loot flag without any issue. So that's all I'd like to demonstrate in this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.